Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll talk about mass mailing. Let's suppose that you have an email template and you want to send it to a group of people, but you want to customize their names to make it like more personal or more attractive for other people. And to achieve that, we don't need Outlook, we need Word. So Word is going to use Outlook in the background to send these email templates. Now let's start and see how this all work and what are the problems limitations and challenges in creating and sending this kind of email template first we need word document and we need excel document the excel template is going to serve as a database for the word template let's open first the excel list and here inside the Excel list, we have two worksheets, two tabs. The first one is list and the second one is list two. And this has a reason why I created two lists and I'm going to show you what does this mean. In this list table, we have name and email. Email are going to be used in sending the emails as addresses and names are going to be used inside the template as variables to make it personal and that's all about it if you have more than one list you can add them here and you can use them in different email templates now let us save and close and please notice that you can't open them both at the same time now let's go to mass mailing created it and I added it already so now it's asking me if I want to open this document and this document is running the following SQL command and I'm going to say yes now the document is here but what if I want to add it from zero so if you want to add it from zero you need to go to mailings and then you need to go to select recipients and then use an existing list and after using an existing list we need to go and search for our excel table and then find it choose it and that's it i'm gonna press on cancel because i added it already and now after adding the list we need to insert the merge field so let me deactivate the preview and here we see we have name and this name is coming from insert merge field and this is may name i'm gonna add it just to show you how we do it name and here as you see we have two times name i'm gonna delete this one and now after adding it we need to go to preview to see if it's working after we pressed on preview, we have a name and the name is Max. Then we need to, to jump to the next record. So we click on this. Okay, we have different names. It's working. And this one is going to jump to the end, last record. And this one is going to go back to the first one. And these two options are important because sometimes you have an empty row or rows at the end and to see them you need to go to the last one and the first one to see if there is any empty row in your excel table now we have inserted the list we reviewed the results now we are ready to send the template we need to go to finish merge and then we go to the last option the last option is send email messages and here we will have this window and in this window we can add the subject line because it's not possible to add it here anywhere we need to add it here let's type for example test we always send emails as html then we have here send records we can send it to all in the list or we can choose the current resort which is now max or we can choose like from two to four, from three to five. It's up to you. And if we press now on OK, it's going to send the emails. So be careful. 
and if we press on cancel we are not going to send them so press on ok if you are 100% ready and you can also merge the template to different files like to pdfs we can merge it to single pdfs we can also merge it to print files it's it's also possible but now we are concentrating just on email templates now let's move to the limitations using this way you can't add people on cc you can't customize images like adding different images you can't add attachments you can't add people on pcc and you can't customize links in order to do this you need to find a plugin that does this for you there are some plugins online i used one of them it was i think open source and it worked it did the job um, i was able to add attachments i was able to add people on uh, cc so you can search for them online that was all for today hope you enjoyed the video if, if you have any question please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe